Hello guys, this is Low Tech Gaming here, and we're taking a look at the Netherlands. Yes, out of the um, out of the blue, um, yeah, you, Ugen decided to put out a new faction for War Game of Dragon, which is pretty cool. So I mean, I immediately saw this and pretty much bought it out of it, which is has to said a lot. Half well, it says a lot about what I think about this game. Anywho, yeah, we have a new faction and. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly skim over some of the new units here. They have some new tr ah what supply vehicles and whatnot. But what I am more interested in is some of the more interesting additions besides more mortars and whatnot, artillery. They have this here. <laughs> this is a tactical missile. This is. Basically like a mini scud launcher. So, uh, 570 millimeter tactical missile with 20 HE power. So that is insane. Definitely am looking into that. What else do they have here? Looks like they have some. Good AAA, so I believe that's the. Uh, it should, I think it's the same as the German AAA, so yeah, the Geopold, so it looks exactly the same. It is the same, basically. What else do they have here? Tanks wise, they have some uh, French light tanks, they have the Centurion, Leopard, German tanks, and then they have the Leopard. To a one, a four, and a five as well, which is pretty interesting. Recon wise, average or so. Some nice little additions here. Now this is an interesting vehicle. That's a 25 millimeter auto cannon, which is pretty nice. Those are really good optics. What I particularly found interesting was in the helicopters. We'll get there in one minute. Some infantry, uh, fighting vehicles. Uh, some cheap, uh, tow twos. Now this is a nice one. This one, <laughs> I believe we were using these back in World War Two. so... Correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like some of the, uh, landing craft the Allies used. Or the United States in general. I have this over here, tow two launcher. This is why I feel very interesting. Uh, not these helicopters here, these are all typical. It looks like this is like a specialist, I think it's a uh, modification of a French helicopter, so with ATGMs. Now this, but this is what's interesting. They have two uh, different types of Apaches here. This one is just like the, um, the longbow Apache. Except for instead of having the, um, let's quickly Go here. Yeah, so it's exactly the same in the terms that it has the same amount of accuracy, AP power, and whatnot. The only difference is that the uh, longbow patch is 20 points more and gets uh, exceptional optics and a little less autonomy, it has to be said. And the uh, longbow obviously has fire and um, forget missiles or so compared to the. Um, Semi, uh, well, the, uh, what do I call it? Semi active missiles. So, when they come and fire one at a time, the longbow can fire multiple at a time, and even if the target hides itself, the missiles will still track the target, which is quite, quite a good advantage or so. So, it's a little, it's just basically like the, um, it's similar to the standard Apache you get, except for you don't get any rockets and you get way more ATGMs. And then, if you look over here, we have the Escort, which is basically, <laughs> it's like the complete opposite of the um, the uh, Apache TD, so, TD, obviously standing for Tank Destroyer. Well, the, the uh, really, did the game just crash, okay, the game just crashed on me, awesome, okay, so we will, ah, <laughs> uh, nope. Alright, so we'll quickly load this up again. Ok, 
Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right, and we'll back. Okay, so the what I was just saying before is that the escort basically it has four rocket pods or so, hundred rocket pods, which are very effective at suppressing enemy units or so, and it's sixty-five points. It comes with a good auto cannon, so I can see this being very effective against enemy units. Then we have the Air Force. They have a Starfighter. They have, okay, so soft auto is an air to air, and then we have uh, two, actually we have a lot of F-16s here. We have a block and one with just um, sidewinders. This one has side, two sidewinders and uh, four AMRAM missiles, so this is going to be your standard um, what, air supremacy fighter. Then you have the block five, which is uh, more suited for ground attack. You have the block ten, which is has cluster bombs, so it's more effective against uh, tanks and armored vehicles. And then you have the block 150 CU. I, no, this is a good point. Like, it goes from block 5, block 10, to block 150. It's just like, what, what happened to the other 140 blocks or so? Did they, did they take the day off or something? I, I don't know. Anyway, so it has a good air detection. On top of that, it has ammo missiles as well. So you can see this as like your your equivalent to the Russian. Um, what is it? I believe it's the. Which one is it? Well, let's see. I believe it's the SU twenty five. Yeah, SU twenty five ammo. So it has pretty good um, AT ATGMs as well as it has the ability to. Uh, take on aircraft at a very long range as well. Then we have the F-84F. So this is the uh, Thunder Chief. I, no, Thunder... Thunder something. I forgot. I haven't played this thing. I think this thing is in War Thunder, actually. Anyway, it has uh, eight rockets, so, so nothing really big to speak of. Then you have a tire with a bunch of cluster bombs and some uh, sidewinders. And then you have this with a bunch of napalm. <laughs> Fascinating enough. What if they have any specialized naval units? No, just standard. Yeah, so they just have those standard like marine uh, units or mechanized units that can be taken in transport. Well, nothing uh, too out of the ordinary. So I, I think this is. Is this similar to the, uh, the Paladin? No, that's an A6, and this is an A5. But it looks roughly the same. Actually, no, this is better than the Paladin, and so the A5, <laughs> oddly enough. Because while it doesn't have the ability to uh, manually fire on tanks or so that are nearby, which I don't know why you would do that in the first place, it is a little bit slower, 5 kilo uh, kilometers per hour slower, but it has a um, a better rate of fire, as well as it has much better range. So this is actually much better than the uh, Paladin. So why, why don't we uh, do another comparison here. Let's compare this to the, um, the Russian one. No, so this is way way better. Well, yeah, in terms of range and accuracy, it's way better. So, the fire rate is the same, autonomy is worse, and the um, speed is a little worse as well, but this is still a much better self-propelled gun. So. Okay, and I think the last thing we want to go over is the difference between the, um, probably the tactical missile and the, um, the American ADATs, or so. So, the ADATs has a better range, or so, a better accuracy. But, to be fair, these are completely different weapons altogether. The, uh, the eight, why do you call it the ADATs, or so? It's the eight, eight I, I'm just gonna call it the blah blah blah. Yeah, let's go with that. So, the blah blah blah, the American blah blah blah, is better at taking down very strong enemy armor, so, while the Lance is better at just uh, being a giant suppression weapon or so. And I think, 
I'm pretty sure this has the same HE power as the, um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> well, that's, that's a good thing, because, like, this would be, like, the equivalent of a nuke launcher or so if the, um, if it had the, uh, the same HE power as the, uh, B5. I'll tell you what, just, uh, why don't we just quickly... Netherlands deck here. Uh, I'll tab me again. And let's just try... You get... <laughs> you can get four of these? Oh, wow, that's... That is awesome. Alright, so... Just call this a new deck. A skill match. Um, close. So, uh, as you can see, it has a very large minimum range, so it can't be used in the immediate area around it. Looks like its minimum range goes up to about 8,400 uh, meters. But it has a pretty good dispersal rate, which is actually quite interesting. Alright, so which town are we going to destroy? Ah, let's destroy this one. Alright, so it takes a while for these to actually fire off, which is interesting enough. Actually, it looks like the same amount of time as a, uh, just a normal self-propelled gun, which is interesting. Uh, you can fire too, you know. There we go. Alright, this is in the air. Oh, I'll talk it was the center of the town. Boom. <laughs> so this is the... I say this is a very <laughs> deadly weapon, it has to be said. Yep. Oh, and it's also already reloaded. Awesome. Actually, it hasn't. <laughs> I think it's an animation bug. Alright, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good test. Right, and I guess that will conclude uh, this video here. So, the Netherlands are out. Uh, you guys should uh, try them out, see how it goes. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.